Hello and welcome to another edition of My Favorite Games. Today I'm going to be playing the cult classic on PlayStation 2, Haunting Ground. Now this is uh, one that's near and dear to my heart. I played this back when it came out and it was new. And, uh, you know, to be quite honest, I didn't fully appreciate it then. Um, it's got its problems, uh, no doubt. But there's a lot of cool uh, ideas at play here in this game. And uh, while I did enjoy it for some of the things that it got right, I think... I remember being a little hard on it for the things that it got wrong. And um, I think over the years, the things that used to bother me about it bother me less and less. And I just started to kind of appreciate this title more and more. So, uh, you know, I wanted to do this one for the channel for quite some time. And uh, fall is here. And Halloween is starting to draw near. And I thought, what better time uh, to pop this one in? So as you can tell, uh, some some pretty uh, powerful imagery here, I guess you could say off the bat. Uh, this looks like it will be particularly warped. And uh, yeah, this is this is a great game. I, <laughs> I'm excited to play this one. And if you haven't seen this one before, uh, well then you're in for a treat. Um, I'm also happy to announce that this is the first game that I'm going to be uh, playing all the way through. Um, not all in this one video, of course, um, but over uh, over some time here in, in the coming days and weeks, uh, as I get time to do this, um, I'm going to be uh, doing this as the very first game that uh, I do the extended long play with. I'm going to put it on a playlist that I call uh, Uno Plays for Days. <laughs> Uno Plays for Days, because it's going to take me a little time to get through all these. But uh, the idea is to get from uh, start to finish... Uh, at least to get one ending. I know in this game there's multiple endings. I'm not going to get them all. I'm just going to get one and uh, call it a day. Uh, let's see here. Yep, stereo, volumes maxed. Okay, I think we got everything we need there. I'm not going to mess with the controls at all. But let's get into it. He's a handsome one. <laughs> this game goes some interesting places uh, that I don't think many games have gone still at the time uh, that I'm making this video. But especially in its day, it played with some themes that um, just weren't the kind of thing you saw in video games very often. <laughs> like that big guy that wanted to touch her through the bars just now. He is a total creeper. And there's another character that we meet a little bit later that I remember being... Uh, creepy in a different way. Uh, I, I guess. I guess we'll see as we get there. But uh, but yeah, it was it was pretty novel at the time to be playing this defenseless girl who's running around and getting chased by a guy who, um, you know, is is clearly gonna you know do all kinds of bad stuff to her. Uh, not not just simple murder on this guy's mind, I don't think. This whole intro is uh it's it's great. It's also very PS2 uh era. Oh, what does she see?
do a good job of making her look rattled right there. I like that the uh, the sheet. It's it's just so like perfectly Japanese. The sheet goes all the way up. The slit goes all the way up. The slow motion walk up the stairs so that they can have like it perfectly flowing, show off their great tech that they had at the time. Oh, that's kind of an ugly little uh, loading icon, though. <laughs> That's the ugliest thing about this game, really, is that you and you only see it once. Uh, that's the other cool thing about this game that um, I should mention is that little bit of loading right there. That's the only time you're going to see a loading uh, screen or, or mention of loading in this game. It's pretty seamless, which is really cool uh, at the time. Like, very uncommon. I remember. Yeah, I should go up this way. Bam, just like that. You go through the door and the next area loads. Oh, that's my favorite character. <laughs> oh, she's awesome. <laughs> Her name is Daniela. Some clothes for you. She's the maid at this place. She's such a creepy robot lady. I love it. Uh, wait. Don't go. Um, excuse me, but where are we? And how did I get here? Yes, master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. She's like, who are you talking to? Okay, so now I go put on the clothes, and the game pretty much begins.
So somebody's watching her get dressed. Somebody watched her take off her sheet and put on all this stuff. And he's making weird noises on the other side of the wall. <laughs> As you saw in the uh, the little CGI uh, intro um, back at the start of this video, there's a scene where somebody runs their hand over her uh, breast and like her stomach. I think um, it happens pretty quick, but like that and this guy watching her get dressed through the uh, painting and some other scenes that are still down the road. Uh, the game really kind of goes for it. I, I, I guess maybe not fully goes for it, but definitely flirts with uh, some, you know, uh, kind of sexual overtones, like just, you know, gross, perverted kind of uh, behavior that comes out of people toward Fiona, the main character here, um, as she's lost and hurt and, you know, vulnerable. Okay, so I can kick, which is useless, because you'll just smash... You'll smash stuff in the background. You will never stun an enemy with a kick. It is so worthless. Uh, let's see. Throw set with the triangle button. Okay, I got that. R1 backstep and cry. I forgot that this had a backstep. Okay, so you can wear out if you use the backstep too much. Is it running for a few seconds? Press square to tackle an enemy. Oh, wow. I, I totally forgot that she could do that, too. I forgot that she could do a running tackle, and I forgot that she had a, uh, a little back dash like that. That's cool. That's helpful. This is a really good-looking PS2 game, I think. I, I was always impressed with how this looked. Also very of the time, too. All of these little things you could, like, click on, and she would have something to say about it. But most of this stuff doesn't do anything. Like, it's just it's just there for you to, like, click on and interact with. Like the TV. No point. It just works. <laughs> Unless there's something I'm forgetting later down the line. I, that's possible, I guess, but... But yeah, like the fireplace and paintings and all that stuff. I think the clock saves, if I remember right. Yes! Okay, cool. Okay. Takes a while to uh, write the save. Oh, I guess it was accessing the card. Okay. Cool. Got it. All right. Out to the castle. <laughs> I hit that button on accident. I did not know that you could... Uh, I did not know that you could um, kick the doors open. I'm trying to shut this behind me. I guess I can't do it. Huh. Yeah, just seamlessly into the next area. Again, it's it's hard to um, it's it's hard to kind of describe how. Uh, oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, and this is the panic mode too. Yeah, so first little hint of panic. That blood freaked her out. She didn't like that. Uh, that's why the screen got kind of funky there. Um, when she gets scared. Like, if somebody jumps out at her, uh, not only does the jump scare get you, the player, but it also freaks her out. And you've got to manage that, um, like, just like you do your health and, and other things. Um, you have to make sure that uh, you've got some items, maybe, to help calm her down. Because if she gets too panicked, which uh, we got pretty advanced there uh, just a little bit ago, because it went into, like, full black and white mode... Um, if you, she was just a little bit more scared, she completely loses it, right? She screams and then just runs, and you can barely, barely control her. Um, and she just has to run it out, basically. She just has to run until she gets uh, a hold of herself, more or less. 
and uh, you better hope that she doesn't like run straight into the arms of uh, one of the uh, you know main enemies that's walking around. Because um, yeah, I, I guess if you don't remember or if you're not familiar with this game, um, the whole thing is unlike a Resident Evil game. Um, which this is like a cousin to the Resident Evil series, as far as I'm concerned, right? It, it's it's rooted um, uh, in the Resident Evil series, but um, unlike those games, you're not like... I guess I should be reading this stuff. There's important clues on, on these boards, but uh, you're not like running into a room and you know shooting zombie dogs or zombies or uh, any of that stuff. Um, there's just one enemy at a time that you got to worry about. Um, and they'll stalk you throughout the, the whole game. They'll run in, you know, various rooms looking to find you, so you gotta hide, and you gotta not use the same hiding spot too many times, or they'll figure it out and they'll try it. And, uh, speaking of, I think we're about to meet the first one here. Creepy little doll. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, that's a ugly doll. <laughs> Oh man, we gotta run. <laughs> Look at that big creepy fucker coming down the hall after her. Run, girl! Oh shit, that one's locked. I gotta do something, that thing will get me. Yeah, I know, we, we gotta hide. Okay, got it. If you approach possible evasion point while being pursued, wait a second, what's that will be displayed? Okay. If you repeatedly hide in the same location over and over again, the enemy will catch wind of your hiding spot. Yeah, see, like I said earlier. Okay, yep, let's get under the bed, girl. Do it. Whew. Now you can't move the camera at all, you're just stuck in this one stationary view. You can hear the music slowing down. Oh, shit, he's right there. He is looking for me. I don't think he'll find me, though, this early in the game. I, I think the whole point of this exercise is to teach you how to hide, and they're not going to have you get found right away. Coast clear. See, it lies too a little bit though. You want to make sure the music completely ends before you get out. And if I went out the same door where he just went, um, he would totally be out there, not too far uh, down the path from from where I was. So uh, I definitely. If I'm going to hide and, and somebody runs by, I want to make note of where they're going and make sure that I go the opposite direction. Even if they go toward, like, an objective or something that I'm supposed to get to, uh, I've got to just give it time. Okay, maybe I can distract that idiot with this thing later. This looks like it should be moved. Um... Can I open this yet? Let's see, it looks like the door handle. Oh, it's the candle. The candle lined up perfectly with the handle, made it look like it was um, shining. Oh, 
Oh, I remember this puzzle. So that golem right there. I've got to make like a thing that you insert into his chest and then he moves. And it, it, you got to like you gotta put his name on it or something. You have to like figure out the golem's name. Is that what it is? And uh, you must not do it in this room because I don't see I don't see the equipment to do it. Oh yeah, this was also apparently one of those games where they didn't uh, see fit to just bring up the thing that you just found, <laughs> so you could read it. You have to actually go find it in your you have to go find it in your um, inventory. Emeth. Okay, so if I go write Emeth on a, a little plate thing, I think that's how you get him to move. And I'm going to go down that hallway where uh, the big creeper was hanging out. I forget his name. De Debilitas, maybe? I might be seriously messing up the uh, pronunciation there. I think this is the thing that you're making the... Yeah, okay. Little piece of toast looking thing <laughs> pops up. Okay. Let's head back over there. So, okay, uh, I guess I go to my inventory. Ah, uh, it worked. That's a great little chime for when you've done something right in this game. Can I not break that? I guess I guess that doesn't break. Oh, totally can't go down that. but I can make it down the ladder. There's a key up there. I wonder how you get that. That must be one of the dog-related items that you uh, can get. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this uh, before, but the big part of this game aside from the running from uh, the enemies, is uh, the dog, the dog Huey that you uh, work with in this game. He is, um, I think I did mention it actually, that you use him for part of your attacks. Uh, he's like your main line of defense, but uh, he's great. Yeah, we should be meeting him soon, I think. Okay, cool. So that's a good hiding spot to know about for later. All right, clearly that's blocked, so I'm going to have to go this way, right? This has got to open.
Oh, that's eerie. I don't like walking into rooms and hearing music playing off in the background. Also, this game shares that trick with the Resident Evil games where... Oh, oh no, it's him, isn't it? Ah, Fiona. I see you finally awaken. There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. Pull away that sheet behind you. Don't do it. <laughs> There's nothing good under there. <gasps> ah, beautiful, isn't it? That what you will become in the future. Go ahead. You may touch it. You will be mine, Fiona. <laughs> so, yeah, some other guy now threatening her with uh, unwanted pregnancy and whatever kind of weird mummification thing they've got going on here. I still want that key. Chamomile. I'm guessing that that calms me down. Let's take that key, yeah. Um, I was going to say, this game employs uh, that trick that the Resident Evil series is very fond of uh, in the earlier games, where um, you enter a space and you can only see you know, uh, from a limited perspective, but you can hear things uh, elsewhere in that space, like making you aware of the fact that there's a threat nearby, but you just can't see it, and it could be five feet away from you, but you can't see it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, this was... Uh, oh, hey, does this do anything? Let's check this out. Oh, well... Hmm. Okay, all right. I guess nothing happens there matter which uh, side you approach that from. Yeah, okay. Can we use the uh, garden key? They should just let you uh, automatically use the key when you found the correct door for it. Seems silly to uh, make you go into your menu. Oh god, these things. Yeah, I forgot about these. Luminescence. Yeah, so... Those things float toward you, and if they touch you, uh, they induce panic, and they also make a noise that... Um, they also make a noise that attracts enemies. Can we use that key? I think we did. Okay. Oh, crap. Open the door. Okay, close it, close it. Ah. All right. Okay, so I gotta find something to set on that. Let's go ahead and save here really quick. And I'll try this door since it's right here. Oh, yeah. This is such a weird puzzle. This is so dumb. You you have to find like a weird marionette puppet thing that hangs on the door and that opens the door. Because, you know, just having a lock with a key on it would have been too basic. Chicken jerky. I think that's for the. I think that's for Huey when I meet up with him later. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go down. I want to see what's down this way. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I'm not going that way. Hopefully that didn't make too much noise. Oh, cool, a map. All right, so... No? <laughs> Seriously, do you have to... <laughs> you have to use it before you can just have it. Okay, whatever. Is that all that was down here? Just a map? Oh, there's a... I bet I can break that. Yeah, what do we get? More jerky for the dog. Gotta go find the dog. Uh-oh. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> oh, God, run, girl. He's going to put your head in his mouth. Run. Oh, my God, please tell me I'm on the other side of the door already. Yeah, run. Oh, crap. I, I hope I didn't somehow screw up and get a game over state here. Was I supposed to find the dog and I screwed up and I, I looked in the wrong area? I guess I lucked out. <laughs> Not sure who that was. I am Ricardo, keeper of the castle. So sorry to hear about your accident. Your parents. As Master Ugo and Mistress Ayla are both deceased, you, Miss Fiona, are the sole surviving heir of Belly Castle. Uh, are you in pain, Miss? Uh, Will you be all right? You've had a long day. Please, rest upstairs. Your bed has been uh. Nice outfit, dude. <laughs> no, I don't think that guy's to be trusted either.
<laughs> that's the second time that they've done the triple the the triple cut of uh, her waking up screaming from the nightmare. I think she gasped the first time. It isn't real. It's just a dream. This can't be happening to me. It can't be. Oh. I think I know who we're going to go meet. That's our buddy Huey. Right? Oh, oh, Huey. I didn't remember that he's... Oh, that sucks. He looks like he's hurt. I didn't remember the first encounter with him being uh, one where he's injured. I'm a coming boy. He was so cool. I have two dogs uh, that uh, I love very, very much. I'm very much an animal person. Uh, and back when I played this for the first time, I loved Huey back then too, just because uh, I had—I don't think I'd played a game before that, before this. Maybe f no. This is before Fable 2. Actually, I'm thinking about it here on the fly. Sorry. Uh, I think this is the first game where I really had like the dog companion thing Didn't before. This time. Huey. Shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be shooing him away there, girl. You're gonna need that little doggo. So, once he, uh, teams up with me officially here. <laughs> that big man, so big and freaky. Uh, once you team up with Huey, he can, uh, he obeys commands and stuff, right? And if you run into, uh, the big guy, Debilitas... Uh, he can bite him. He can latch onto his arm while, you know, giving you time to get out of there. Uh, and he's useful for a lot of other things too. On top of just being like your companion, uh, like, and and I mean that too. Like, he's a great companion in this game. Uh, you you see a lot of messed up, you know, scary places, and to have that dog with you, uh, it goes a long way toward making it all like more doable right like it's uh it's not as tense or as scary with uh the dog near because you know that um you know he can help keep you safe he can help keep uh, fiona safe couldn't get out of there is that open too no also i want to say that uh huey i'm I know I'm not the only person to say this. This has been like a thing for years, but uh, there's a lot of people, myself included, who are pretty convinced that Huey is also the dog that Leon meets in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> and you save him in that game, too. And then he comes back and he saves you in a big way. Okay, so... Huey's out there somewhere. I'm going to uh, run into him again, and we're going to team up, but it's not going to happen in this video. I'm going to call this uh, one good for now. I will be back uh, with part two and many more parts until we've seen this one all the way to completion. Uh, so definitely stick around. And uh-oh, looks like I'm not going to get to save just now. Uh-oh, there's no weirdly dressed monk to save me this time.
<laughs> He's so goofy. He's so gross and creepy. What a great villain. Okay, up on the right stick. Yeah, get him! What a good boy. <laughs> Don't come back, asshole. <laughs> good boy, Huey. Thank you. You saved me. Come here. Come on, boy. Look at that dog. He's quite the little muscle pup, honestly. He's built. <laughs> He's built for a dog. What's your name? Oh, he's a very good boy. Look at him. Huey? So you're Huey. Well, hi, Huey. Okay. All right, so yeah, up is search and attack when in battle. Press up to urge him on, yes. <laughs> Down calls him to the side. Also calls him off the enemy, okay. I don't know why I would ever want Huey to not bite the enemy, but okay. <laughs> Okay, so praise the living daylights out of Huey. Click in the stick to get him to stay. Okay, so we never want to use left on the right analog stick because that is scold. And I'm not going to ever tell my good boy that he's bad. <laughs> he's only going to be a good boy. Alright, so I think now I should be able to save. I've got to go anyway. Um... But uh, as I was saying before, we'll come back to this one, and uh, I'm excited. I, I I'm stoked. This is uh, I'm getting jazzed to play this again now that I've seen Huey uh, Huey biting Debilitas, and now he's gonna be hanging out with Fiona as it should be. So awesome. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thank you, and uh, we'll catch you in the next part.